Hey guys, welcome back to my Wolf Doubt Skyrim series. I am Roaring the Werewolf. Here I am on my secondary character, or my stream character, Zelina the Night Elf. And this is the 1500 subscriber special till Nata well, 2. Because he has like three of these mods. Tell not to one, tell not to two, and tell Arenta or something like that. I should have the links to all of them in the description below. He, this guy is a very, very good mod maker. And since this is the 1500 subscriber sub special, there will be a enchanted subscriber item. And I've, it took a while to actually have the 1500 subscribers pop up. It, it, it took like a day for it to load so I can see who it was actually the name, who it was. Thankfully, it was an okay name. The first part of his name is, um, I guess a little dirty, but the second part is pretty good. I gotta think of a weapon or an item or a piece of armor that I'm going to uh, use to enchant in his name. And not only it's going to be part of Skyrim, but it's also going to be part of Fallout 4 once I get that done. Uh, the current ones are... Uh, the, the current subscriber weapons, I think... Should I put them in the description below? Because I do have them on the videos that actually show me on cam talking about it. And I actually think... No, no, no. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on another uh, subscriber video. Like, like news and such. Because... Mm, should I tell... No, no. I shouldn't tell you. I shall save it for the news video. But here we are. This is Telnata, the second version. We are here in Lake Ilianata. I believe that's what this lake is called. Yeah, Lake Ilianata. Just right beside Riverwood. I think your player house is somewhere around here for Falkreath. Um, there's like a a vampire hiding in a cabin somewhere around here. <laughs> and there's White Run. Fall Creek is just right down there, so it's just right up the road. Uh, I should have already consoled in all the ingredients I would need. I don't know if there is any more further modifications that will end up coming about. Uh, Huh. There's a bed roll right here. Oh, I can sleep. Oh, so I can let the time go by. Oh, that's a neat little thing he put here. Oh, and I love the look of this lantern. Yeah, we're just right outside the lake. And shit, check this out. I spent like all kinds of work trying to figure out good combination for different mods I use to create this outfit. Oh, <laughs> but I'm liking the, the result of it for this character. Alright, first we need to build ourselves a bridge that will lead us over there. It requires one Grand Soul Gym, one Nern Root, ten Whitecap, and ten Fly a mantnita. The bridge will grow to full size in 12 hours. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to sleep automatically. This is gonna require uh, a lot of time to go by. Mm. Now what kind of soul gem did it get rid of? Did it get rid of a empty one or a full one?
I can't tell because I got both. Shit. <laughs> oh well. And I counseled in some ingredients. Oh, I don't want to eat that. <laughs> Alright. So 12 hours. We'll go to the bedroll. And we'll sleep 12 hours. And here's the bridge. Look at this. Winds up like this and it winds up back down. An interesting bridge to say the least. I guess it's so uh, river boats can pass under for immersion sake or something like that. All right. Now we got ourselves some stuff going on. What do we got right here? Would you like to grow a house pod? Requires one grand soul gem, one nern root, two tap root, ten swap fungal pod. The pod will grow to full size in one day. Do I have anything I can edit in here? No, not just yet. I got a little fishing boat right here. So let's go ahead and sleep for one full day. And here is the house fungal pod. Ooh, with this little um, thing right here. Entranceway. Now, it's my first time actually uh, diving into this mod. I've had it installed for quite a long time. Quite a long time. And it does look like I'm going to need more ingredients. So, after I'm done building these pods, I'll probably take a uh, quick cut so I can console in all these ingredients for you so you don't have to see me typing in all these numbers and shit it's gonna take a while ah and here is a wood chopping block too what do we got here one grand soul gem one nern root two tab root ten swamp fungal pod another house pod to grow this will grow to full size in one full day. And there you have it for this house pod. What is this? This is a blacksmith. And here's our next one. The Consolium Tower. Four Grand Soul Gems, two Nern Root, two White Cap, two Fly Amita, 20, I mean 20 White Cap, 20 Fly Amita, 20 Blood Crown, and 20 Giant Lichen. The Consolium Tower will grow to full size in four days. <laughs> well, what do we got? Ooh, what, the, what is this? Ah, the roots are starting to take hold into the ground and the water. Do we have one like that on this side? Yeah, we do. I wonder if we could develop pods inside of the pods. Now that would be something. Furnish blacksmith pod. Yeah, it's going to require a lot of stuff. A slilt strider dock.
All right, let's get going. Four full days. All right, here is one of the towers already built. Consolium Tower. And look, we got ourselves another pod right here. Would you like to grow the first stage of your tower? Two Grand Souls Gems, two Nern Root, ten Imp Stool, ten White Cap, and ten Trauma Root. Let's go ahead and do that. Two full days. Wow. I see this is going to be a little extensive. We can't hire anybody just yet, it looks like. Well, right, let's get going. Two full days. Alright, this is the first stage of the pod. And let's go ahead and this. Would you like to grow the final stage of the tower? Six. Grand Soul Gems, 2 Nern Root, 20 White Cap, 20 Fly Alaminta, 20 Bleeding Crown, and 20 Giant Lichen. The final stage of the tower will grow to full size in 6 days. Holy shit. This is going to be something when it's done. Oh, it's going to look so good. Alright, six days. Alright, the final stage of the tower. Let's see what we got right here. Teleport up. What is this for? Are these planters or something? Maybe. But we are at the top of the tower. And we have no furnishings in there, so... There's no point in going up there, at least for now. Oh look, we got a, another one of these things. Would you like to grow stairs? Sure. One Grand Soul Gem, one Nern Root, ten White Cap, and ten Phi Alamita. They will grow in 12 hours. Alright, the stairs go up into here. Go all the way up here. Uh, activate house pod. Okay, sure. One grand soul gem, one nern root, two tap root, two swamp. Fungal pod. So that house pod will end up growing. Uh, sh another one. Another one. Holy crap. Okay. Can anything grow right here? Another one. Alright, let's rest up for a day.
Okay, what do we got? We got a nice <laughs> chef's pod. Little Hassle pod. Servant's pod. Wizard's pod. And Farmer's pod. <laughs> so these are their the little uh, guys you hire. These are their little houses. That is so cool. Alright, can we do anything else before we get... Holy shit, look over there! Mushrooms started growing on the side. Oh, check that shit out. Can I do anything to these? No, it doesn't look like it. At least not for right now, if there is anything to, to grow over there. Uh, do we have another one of those seed pods? Maybe around this corner. Uh, down here at the dock. No. How about these little tiny shrooms? Can I do anything with these? No, no, not yet. Right, I grew the many little pods needed. Let's see what, what else is in there. Okay. Buildings are grown through saplings found on the ground. Da, 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 da. General stories, blacksmith, consolium, main tower, first stage and second stage, large stairs around the main tower, and f finally four more little pods around. All saplings and growable pods are found on the island. Only after a building has been grown, you can use the crafting table to construct the interior, and only after you, the interior is constructed, you can hire the NPC. Though before you can hire NPCs, you need to construct the jobs board through the crafting table with certain things you build there. Will be more books, more pieces, or paper explaining them in more detail. So keep your eyes open and read them carefully. In short, grow, build, hire. Okay. The upper level will have a small kitchen, sleeping room, smells kids, da 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 da. Trophy room and the enchanting area. Da 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 da. Go to stairs. Here you can build the interiors for the entire town and some stuff for the exterior. There is a bedroll under da da da. Yeah. If you wish to practice the art of necromancy, you would have to build the catacombs, which will be located some distance away from the town. Though, you can quickly get there by using the small fishing boat. Huh. Build the jobs board from the crafting table so you can find people to inhabit the town. A list of services. General stores, merchant, blacksmith, alchemist, wizard, chef. Farmer, servant, bard, and five guards each. Catacomb merchants, silt strider, driver, and bull niches. After much consideration, I have finally decided someone else to take this project. Although the allure of building a new stronghold in Skyrim is invigorating, I cannot be torn away from my studies in Solstein. Not to mention the lack of resources we ever since Red Mountain erupted. I am here on the verge of a breakthrough with Humaeus Morta, uh, Mora, and I fear Skyrim will not lend itself to furthering this research. The Black Books seem to be bound in Soul's time, so if they are bound here, then so am I. Ah, 
This is from the Dragonborn DLC, which I have yet to get through on my channel. I have done some of it off camera before, just just to try it out, but yeah, like I said, I didn't do it on camera. Okay. Oh, we got a dragon fight. I'm gonna have to take care of this before I console in all the items needed. All right, now we're back. I should have all the items needed in order to uh, build everything up. That was quite a lot of counseling and stuff. Okay. I am well over encumbered, so let's go ahead and get rid of some of the stuff. Uh, upper tower trophy room. That seems to be, I guess, the same altar, the same stand as the one inside of the Devaveza airship for all the Daedric items. Uh, it seems like time is going by as we're doing this. Let's go with Consolium Tower Main Lady. Bedroom. Courtyard decoration. Dungeon atrium. Okay. Whatever that is. Dungeon Dwemer Forge. Dungeon lighting. Exterior bathing area. <laughs> Alright, exterior farm. A fish hatchery. Furnishing for the blacksmith pod. For the chef. For the farmer. For the general store. Build the jobs board. Let's go ahead and get that done. House pod. Servant pod, wizard pod, lower dormitory. Oh, oh, looks like we've got some stuff coming in that we didn't have before. Lower hall storage, lower hall displays. Looks like I'm going to need more iron fittings. Alright, let's get to it then. Let's see if I can look it up again. Out of all the counseling in I already did. No, nope, no, nope, I'm going to have to look it up again. Let's go with 50 of them. There we go. Now we got ourselves some stuff. Slilt Strider Dock. Huh. Uh, top of Plateau Observatory. Dash deck. <laughs> Our Upper Tower Arcane Study. <gasps> what? No way. Arcane study option with spider imbuing chamber. Arcane study option without spider imbuing chamber. I wonder if that gets rid of it. Okay. Well, guest chamber. Holy crap. Tower library. 
upper tower stair furnishings. Now we have oh need more iron fitting. Oh, need more glass. Shit. What was glass again? This one? Is that more? Alright, guest chamber options. Beds for four adults, for followers. Beds for four children and a spouse. Six children and a spouse. Two children and a spouse. Um, guest chamber option. Let's go with four adults for now. I wonder if I take... It does... Okay, alright. So, the last bit is... These three. Main tower short distance teleporter. Yeah, let, let's let's uh, let's go ahead and let's see how this stuff works. Uh, higher silt strider. He'll arrive in forty eight hours. Crap. Hire guards. Alright, hire a farmer. Hire a servant. Hire a general clerk. Hire a blacksmith. Hire merchant. Uh, catacombs merchant. Well, sure, let's hire a bard. Fuck it. Uh, we'll do these later. And let's go ahead and get the, the last bit of the stuff built. Um, fire salts. Going to be three A D five E. And what is charcoal? Oh, spelled that wrong. There's two of them, two different ones. Okay. Let's go with the this one. Three three seven six zero. Yep, that's one. Blacksmith exterior. Now we got Heartstones. What are heartstones? Oh yeah, that that's that's the stuff in the Dragonborn DLC. Okay. Ingredients, no. Briarheart, uh. There we go. Now, which ones are they? Let's go with this one. 749. Oh, okay. Go up to where is it? Silver. Five. A C E three. And next is the plants. Let's go with lavender. Ingredient right there. 
four five C two eight. And the other one is this little. That's the ingredient right there. There we go. One, three, four, eight, A. Man, all this is hard when you have dyslexia. <laughs> Alright. What, more? Oh my goodness, okay. Well, fuck me. <laughs> it just keeps on popping up more. Help. Nails. Zero three zero zero three zero zero F More rolls of paper and ebony ingots now too. Consolium Tower Kitchen. Let's go ahead and get that built. Those builds. Consolium Garden. And what do we got? Yeah. Being good. Ebony Ingot. Five AD ninety and Lex help paper. Keep the blue paper. Five AD ninety. All right, please tell me that is the last of it. Okay. Well, now we got some people here. All right, let's go ahead and empty all of those other supplies. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, just just all of you go in there. I don't care. Well, then looking some of this stuff out was kind of actually uh a little difficult. I had to actually go to the website and everything. Uh, and let me get all this weight out. A werewolf totem. Yeah. Now let's go ahead and take a look around. Oh, look at this. Okay. All right, the stone road wasn't here before. Leads directly to the road right here. Oh, check that out. <laughs> That's neat. Okay. Come in. We see a bee apiary. I don't think I've... I guess they end up showing up after a while. Looks like we got a shroom right here with a target for archery purposes, I guess. Or for training purposes. A 
then we got this wonderful garden. Who are you? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Now oh, fuck you. Oh. Oh. This is part of the... Okay. This is part of the mod. Thought he was going to give me another stupid note. Uh, Dragonborn, you have recently acquired a certain undeniable value which could be of use for House Telvani. We are in need of an explorer with skills and efficiency, a pioneer that will expand House Telvani directly into the heart of Skyrim. Due to the Red Mountain explosion and the savage Argonian invasion into Morrowind, we no longer have the expenses at our disposal to grow any new strongholds, but this where I hope you will come to our aid. The Imperials and Stormcloaks have left Skyrim in conflict and ruin for many years to come. We must use this opportunity and claim a piece of land for House Telvanni, so you are hereby in invited to grow a new strong home which will be named Tel Anata. The land I have in mind is on the island. Da, 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 da. Huh. I wonder if this is later on within the Dragonborn DLC because I just pretty much came here and built the fucking thing. But we have all these... What? Another one? Go away. I'm getting out of here. Oh shit, it's an elder yeah. dragon too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll be right back. I'll fight this damn dragon. I should have hired those guards. And now we're back. Got ourselves some guards. Decided to wait until they show up in order to give me some help in taking Need on something. the dragon. Uh, these until guards next time. are followers that I can hire if I want to. And back to what I was doing. We were looking at this lovely little garden filled with leeks, potato plants, gourds, and juniper berries. This is actually a very good place to put a garden. Look how nice that looks. And it seems like our bull niches have came in to make weird sounds and shit. <laughs> Brought them here to Skyrim. I guess they're going to be an invasive species now. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here, and it looks like this is the bathing area. Hello there. I... take a look. And she sells us food. We'll check out I... her house later. The guys come here to relax, enjoy some nice bathing time. Probably my blacksmith right there. Taking some mead. Ooh, this is new. This is probably part of the mod. Ancient Dagoth Brandy. Cry Reserve. Lovely place to sit, relax in the sun. That's actually pretty neat. And my very own Slit Strider. Hello there, quiet Nernroot. Ooh, what's this? Tell not a container, trash container note. This barrel will be frequently used by the townsfolk to store their clothes while taking a swim in the lake. Not to mention that the children often pull shenanigans and play around in this area. 
So it is really unadvised to put your own items in here unless you want them to get lost. Items left in this container would get deleted every seven days. Alright, yeah, we gotta be on the lookout for little tiny things like this and little tiny things like that. What, what are you? What the hell are you? You creepy little creature. Alright, is there anything else we can do with the with the boards? Hire a chef. Okay. Look back at the main board. Hire alchemist. And hire wizard. We got ourselves a little chicken right there. Can we do anything with this workbench anymore? Other than all this. Read that book. An outdoor uh, smelter and forge. Right there. And then we go up these. Our very own Salt Strider. What does he do? Where do you want to go? Oh, we can go quite a bit of places. We'll test that out. Good uh, day. Probably off camera. Now we got the candles lit. We got the lanterns hanging across the way. Got a lovely centerpiece right there. Tanning rack. A wood chopping place. This is the fish hatchery. Oh, well, there's a way to walk around here. Oh, you just go up this way and down here? Who are you? Yes. I don't remember you. I bet you could slay one of those mean old dragons. I bet you could do anything. I bet I could too. Yep, we got ourselves a lovely fish hatchery down here. Tell not a fish hatchery guide. The following things can be added to the fish hatchery in order to create a small and self-sustaining ecosystem which will s serve the benefit of the town. All the little fish that we got right there. These small fish can easily be found all over Skyrim. Bring one of them back and drop it into the hatchery and they will reproduce a slaughter fish egg salmon roe if you want a salmon and a tame slaughter fish you'll need to search for their eggs slaughter fish eggs are quite common but salmon roe can be difficult to obtain if you're not sure how to look for it to find salmon roe you must uh, sh you should be looking for pregnant salmon these usually swim upstream and up rivers let's see what else we got clam meat Drop this in the fish hatchery and you'll get more clams over time. Some of them will even give pearls. Nice. Very, very nice. Oh, this is just lovely looking. Then I remember saying that this rowboat will... Take me to Ilionata's Deep? Yes. Take a look. Oh, you're the alchemist. Mm-hmm. You're like a little elf girl. Yes? You're the best. Can you be my mother? What just happened? Uh, no. Got some gravestones right here. <coughs> and 
and into the catacombs. Yeah, let, yeah, let's go ahead and go in here. Are we actually going to fight people? Dragonborn's chest. Poker tusk. Does this do summon altar? Uh, catacombs guide. Important notes about the catacombs. The, the, the dear Dragonborn, we'll keep this place up and running to make sure you have enough corpses for your experiments so you can improve your necromancy skill without the need to bother uh, yourself with the little details. Dead bodies can be found all over Skyrim, and you'll be surprised to know how far uh, little some people will sell those corpses. So, Siri Wrath will make regular trips to nearby towns to replenish our surprise. We also have furnished a room with four extra beds so you can gather some more people during your adventures. And please note that this catacomb is under our care, so do not go using anything as your personal storage because we will remove it if we need the space ourselves. However, there is one chest next to the summon altar that I provided for you so you can safely store your items there. We also finally managed to put the undead enchantment on some weapons. If you wish to disenchant one of those weapons and put it on a better weapon with a more powerful enchant then you are free to do so. About the summon altar. It seems that one person can only summon two creatures at the same time. More research is needed to figure out why this is the case, but our guess so far would be that the reanimated creatures are somehow bound to your life force, and the moment you try to create a third, the first one will start to decay and fall apart. Also, these creatures don't seem to have a fully functional brain, which is understandable for reanimated dead body remains, though the biggest side effect of this is that the creatures cannot be talked to or be given any commands. All they seem to do is follow you around and protect you. Since they lack any communication skills and follow you forever, there is no other way to dismiss them except for going back to the summon altar and severing their link to your life force, which will ev evidently destroy it and the creature will return back to dust and bones. The following creatures can be re reanimated at the altar. They are set on essentials so they will never die in combat and you will only have a maximum of two creatures at the same time. Feral minions? Ooh. They look like Falmer. Draugr? A death hound? Armored death hounds? A burnt spriggan? gargoyles and that seems to be it interesting sword of the undead starts to take 20 points of undead damage and gets slowed oh that's an interesting enchant and what do we got up here These are their ingredients. Uh, we can use their alchemy lab. What do we got here? Just stabs for appearance sake. We got a bed that is owned by someone. A little Dwimmer model suit. Ooh. I love these flowers, these clean blossoms. They're like my favorite plant in the game. Then we got an enchanting table right here. 
Little tiny details like this go a long way. Look at this. This is a crystal scope. Read some books. Looks like somebody was playing card games right here. Got a troll skull up there. Uh, got another bed that is owned. Tell bounty robes right there. A key to tell Nutta. The life of Uriel Septum. Da, 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 da. Steel Vardenfeld Grand Soul Gem. Huh. Interesting. There are some unique items around here, too. Oh, look at that, a baby dragon. Come up here, guy. Oh, he's just, just sitting there. And we got ourselves a little garden up here. Can we, can we jump up there? Yeah, we can. Fucking lovely. Alright, where do we go down here? This is where they store the dead bodies. Uh, these are for more followers. Oh, man. On my normal playthrough, I could put my vampire followers in here. Vardenfell Grand Soul Gem. We got more books. Coffins, more of that. Wow, this place is well done. Varnfell Petty Soul Gem. Need something? Take a look. You have alchemy ingredients too, if I need it. Necrowave. That's new. And soul burn, necrobolt. All these are new. So we got new items, new spells. Until next time. We got a prisoner in there. And a prisoner in there. Interesting. All right, let's go back. Need something. Safe travels. Need something? All right, then. Okay, where should we search first? 
Let's go in the general store. Let me know if you see anything you like. Everything is placed so ni nicely. This mod maker is amazing. What can I do for you? What do you do around here? I'm a bard, trained at the Bard's College in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. A bard and fell greater, Soul Gem. And little fox? Hmm. Take a look. All right, do you have anything different? Uh, take all that. Any items in here that I can buy that are new? Mm, this is new. Yeah, I'll buy some of that. Oh, you sell boar meat, honey, and milk. Vintage brandy, that's a new item. Powdered mammoth tusk. That is a. Uh, it, it's a common. It's an uncommon item. Ooh, look at that! It's modeled after the a seer jug. We got ceramic stuff that we can place around if we want to. And glass stuff. Oh, that is gorgeous. This mod maker made miscellaneous items. All kind. Oh man. I really want this guy to make a Fallout 4 mod. Alright then. This guy is way too good for his own. <laughs> That bed is owned. You got any like little Ooh a crystal chandelier? Check that shit out. storage would you like to do with the carpenter's workbench uh, no it seems like that takes away the workbench and there's the dragon glitching <laughs> Ah, uh, you fracking piece of dread. There we go. Get you out of the way. Okay. That. A bunch of kids? Who are you? Get away! Until next time. Need something? Mm hmm. Alright, let's go up into the blacksmith. Let me know if you see anything you like. What now? Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Now, do you have any new special items here? I um, get these gem arrows. Ooh, that's a new one. Oh, wow, look at that. Vardog's Battle Axe. That's actually pretty neat looking. Elven Bow Dread, no. 
no, that's different mod. Vardux War Axe, which is a one-handed version of it. Oh wait, this is new. Bone Mold Amun Ana Armor. Eh, not a fan of it. Uh, bone Mold Shield. Chitlin armor. Yep, Chitlin, Chitlin boots. Yeah. Different helmet. Yeah. And it looks like he sells stardom. him. Until next time. This forge is gorgeous looking. Then you got these displays, even his axes right there. He has a tiny workroom, but I guess that's all he really needs. Let's not go in the tower just yet. Let's save that. And what is this? The Consolium Tower. We'll save that one too. Let's go in these little pods. Let's go all the way to the top and work our way down. This is the farmer's pod. Ah, it doesn't look like anything special. Just a bunch of fruits and vegetables lying around. There's ash yam. So they'll just might have like little things deals with their professions in their little huts. Wizard's pod. Yep, little enchanting area. I love his little setup right like this. It's too cool. And we'll go down right here. This is the servant's pod. Nothing real big. Steal from clam. There's a little pearl in there. There's <laughs> uh, a little area where he maintains food. This is a household. Uh, there's a bed right here. Bed right there. These are probably for the guards. No, no, this is the guest bedroom. This is the guest room. I can make this into a follower's room if I wanted to. Yeah, we'll probably end up doing that. But this is just for a random family if needed. Huh. These wind chimes and shit. This is the chef's pod. Cooks food for the whole 
place. It's kind of empty. Cooking splint. Alright, and that's all those little pods right there. Let's go in this tower. Oh. Oh. I guess we go up. <laughs> hmm? Who are you? Take a look. Alright, do you have anything interesting? Oh, he sells all the Dunmer outfits. Even new designs for Telvani robes, all different colors. Nice. He sells ingredients like Nets jelly, salmon roll. <laughs> There's. Here, here's the stuff to like put put in the in the in the hatchery, fish hatchery, all right here. Just buy the shit. All right then. Okay, let's search around. What do we got up here? Oh, these are plants. This is a garden. Fantastic. Shrine room. Another little garden area for mushrooms and other things that require uh, dark plant, uh, darkness and moisture to grow. And we got more people's rooms right here. Oh man, this mod is fantastic. <laughs> got ourselves the enchanting room right here. And the alchemy room right here. Okay, what's left? We go up these stairs. Staff Enchanter. Nice. Looks like somebody just came up. <laughs> now where's the spider in blue old room? Imbuel. Imbuin. Is it not in this tower? I guess it's not, it's not in this tower. All right, let's go down. All right, I guess we got a few more places to look at. Let's go ahead and teleport ourselves up. View of the tower and the decor out here. 
Ooh. Master Iron's hand, may he forever be a beacon of hope to House Telvanni. Looks like the top of the tower is my bed. My bed. Staff enchanter up here. <laughs> Forty of them. like a little stairway right here this goes to tower lower activate shrine of diavethia fortify magic increases your magic by 20 points Magic regen by 10% and reduces magic cost of ice spells by 5. Huh. Alchemy. Enchanting. Spider embuilment. <laughs> ah, they tell not the spider, huh? Albino spider pod. All the all the ingredients are listed. Interesting. Use bone grinder? What the hell does that do? Bone meal out of skull, horcotus, troll skull, and mammoth tusk. And the dogs are acting up while I'm recording a video. Well, of course they are. Got ourselves our own private library. Looks like this is the trophy room. Gold or active artifact display, rune artifact display, dragon claw display, paragon display. Use some more. Daedric. All the Dragon Priest Skulls. Divine Amulet Display. Okay. And let's go down even more. Well, armor displays right here. Huh? 
Move, bard. I'm looking at shit. Ooh, look at those. Nice little cubby holes. This seems to be some kind of dining area. I wonder if this is the, the followers room or the main room. Go down even further. Once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from Old Rorikstead. And the lower part of the tower. Seems to be another place. I guess this is where the the servants stay. Ooh, I like those weapon racks. Let's go down some more. This seems to be some kind of armory. And that goes to the upper part of the tower. A quick teleport, I guess. Take spyglass. And take silver apple. Those are new items. Can I grab those? No. Sigic gloves. leads outside. There is more. Tower Cavern. Oh. Shrine, another place to, uh, to garden right up here. Got ourselves a uh, whatever the hell that is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and what's this? Use Soul Gem Basin. Soul Gem Basin. This is the heart of the tower where a Dissolvent saps, uh, sap is constantly being produced and slowly dripping into this basin where it gathers and pools. Due to the special parameters of the sap, you can dissolve or which will break down into its most basic elements. At this point, you can place a gem in the sap and the ore elements will begin latching onto it slowly transforming uh, the gem into a soul gem. Aside from gems, you can also throw in normal soul gems or even uh, soul gem fragments to enlarge them with this process. The moment you have soul gems or soul gem fragments in your inventory, more options on this basin will become available on what you can do with those objects. Ebony ore and flawless emerald. I can create soul gems here. <laughs> that is too cool. Oh, hey there, buddy. Uh, a Charis crawler. And 
and I can have it as a follower if I wanted to. These creepy little guys. Dwemer Forge. Telnata Dwemer Forge. You can construct four Dwelven Automatron followers at this forge. All of them will guard the town and change position between day and night times. They are set on essentials so they will never die in combat. They are pet followers, which means you can ask only one of them to follow you around. If you want another one to follow you, you need to dismiss the previous one before this. You can also construct a Dwarven Auto Storage Spider. It will stay in the lower tower interior, and any items given to the spider will automatically be placed in several containers inside your home. You also have the option to deconstruct any of them, which will give you about 50% resources back. But beware, before deconstructing any of the automatron followers, you must make sure that it is not your current follower. So first dismiss it and then make sure it's not following you. The Dwarven Spear and Ballista can only be constructed after you have already built the catacombs. The dwarven auto storage spider can only be constructed after your entire home is completely furnished. Interesting. Dwarven auto storage spider, ballista, droid, sphere, and sweeper. Oh, this is too cool. Well, there you have it. The whole Telnata mod. It adds weapons, armor, it has spells, it has followers, it has special little crafting areas. This mod maker is by far the best I have ever seen in creating, in creating a mod. And there you have it, your 1500 subscriber bonus video. Tell Nata in its completion, all the way through, even, even some parts that I didn't want to include, like uh, bits of the dragon fight that ended up disturbing us, <laughs> and counseling in uh, last minute stuff. This is by far an amazing mod. Though I have crashed a couple of times while while um, recording this, so I don't know if it, it it if it's due to the extensiveness of this mod or all the other mods that I have installed combined with this one and recording at the same bloody time. But amazing. This mod is amazing. <laughs> now, be sure to comment and subscribe if you so feel like it. If you want to check out the mod author and the mods itself, I will put them in, in links in the description below. Now you guys stay furry and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.